If you're planning to launch meetings, webinars, one-on-one, -on -one, well, I have the solution for you. It's called Sessions, and you won't believe how easy it is to launch one of these video meetings. So follow me to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? I know you won't believe that you can replace all these tools with Sessions, but you can. You can replace Zoom, Google Meet, Canly, OpenAI, yes, because it has AI, Zillow, Docket, Miro, etc., all with Sessions. Now, the first thing I want to do is show you how fast and easy it is to launch one of these video meetings. So let's start with a session. With a session, first thing I got to do is obviously set my face. Let me go ahead and open this up. Here's my face, microphone, set a background, which I've done already, and set the name. So in this case, it's there. Let's go ahead and join. And we're going to get our sharing link. So let's hypothetically say that we're doing a meeting with someone. And let's go ahead and open up incognito mode and jump over to the link that I've just shared with them. So all they got to do is set their camera, allow it. In this case, I'm going to mute it because I don't want it to conflict with what I'm doing. And I'll just say John and he's going to join. There we go. It needs to get signal there and boom, we are now in a session on a one on one. That's how fast it is to launch one of these sessions. Now, what can you do in this section? You'll be amazed with everything you can do. So first off, I would recommend you check this thing out, which is command K or in Windows, I think it's control K. And it's a really great tool that is a feature that they launch where you have access to several actions that are really easy to use. I can go ahead and type a command, paste the link, search, etc. using this. I can view other files from here and it's really smart. Once you learn how to use this, you're going to see how fast and easy it is to work with the tools in sessions. All right. But if you want to go the, the manual way, you can go ahead and jump into these sections. For example, if I want to share a file, open a link, embed a tool, add an agenda, or share the screen, I can do so really easily. So let's just say I want to share this video there. Let me go into the person who's watching it. And here we go. He's watching it now. Let me go ahead and come back. Let's stop sharing and come back right there. And then again, I can do something else with it, right? Or how about I raise a hand? If I want to send an emoji or something like that, that is possible. How about record? That is possible. Or how about full screen? Let's go ahead and exit. No, we're not done yet. How about we want to start a chat with this person? How about, and I'm going to say hello. And that person is going to receive it. I got a little bubble here saying number one message. And here it is. And I'm going to respond. Hi, let's come back. And here it is. Responded. Hi, that's how easy it is to use. Or how about creating a poll? You can create a poll manually or we can use the AI Copilot to create our poll. Let's give it an idea and it's going to generate a poll for us. So let me write something. OK, here's a quick idea that I ran by it. What is your favorite piece of topping? Let's go ahead and generate it and it's going to use AI to create this poll. So here we go. We got our first suggestion. I can go ahead and use the poll or I can go ahead and try again or remodify the question that I asked. OK, so in this case, I'm going to use the poll. And the cool part about this is that now I have the option to modify these ingredients and I got a head start on all these ingredients and I can add more responses. I can remove ingredients, etc. And if I'm good to go, I can start the poll and boom, just like that, we are going to get a poll so we can vote on it. And no, I don't like pineapple pepperoni for me. All right. How about the end user over here? Um, he likes pineapple and let's go ahead and submit it. Polls done and we're going to get the results right here. How cool, right? And we can end the poll and start a new one or ask AI Copilot to create a poll for us. Or how about Q&A? Again, you can go ahead and start it right here. Notes, if you need to write some notes, that is possible. And you can connect this with Evernote and Notion, which makes things really easy. Uh, takeaways or how about we type in the takeaways as we are talking. But in this case, I just wrote some text here and I'm going to use again AI Copilot for this and I can create a meeting overview, bullet list, action items, custom prompt. In this case, I'll create a bullet list for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and use this and it's going to generate it for us. So in this case, I don't like it. I'll go ahead and try again. Go ahead and generate it. OK, that more that looks more like it. Let's use this takeaway and I can go ahead and keep what I have or just go ahead and replace that with this, which could be more appealing to me. How about transcript? Well, that is possible here. I can start the transcript with this. Or how about if I need to do something with this user? I have all these options available or the view. I can view different type of views, gallery, spotlight, audience, etc. And my settings for this particular meeting. So everything right here, I can even lock this session so it's not open from here, which is pretty cool that we get all these options. But that's how easy it is to launch one of these video sessions with sessions. So it's pretty crazy, right? Let's go ahead and out of here because I want to show you more. Let's end it for all participants. Let's go ahead and go home. 
And how about if you want to schedule a session? We, we don't want to start right away. Well, that is possible. So basically the same concept of everything you're going to get with the session, but we can run a scheduler here. So I can go ahead and do test, the test for this at the date here. I'll say the 11th and date, repeat, no email reminders, participants. I can go ahead and invite them here, the agenda, the access. If I want to lock it, request guest email, recording consent, etc. All these options are available. Participants permissions, automations, widgets, recordings, and the exit page if we want to modify that and create the schedule. Super easy, right? Or how about if we want to create an event? Well, this is going to change things because now we have people who are going to talk in the event. So let's go ahead and create the event. We have all these options available and we have the speakers who are going to talk in the event. Go ahead and add the speaker, the agenda, the access rules right here, participants permissions, the widgets, automations, recordings, exits, registration options here. So if you need to ask for a different type of things, you can do so here. In this case, it's asking for name and email, pretty basic, but you can go ahead and remove it. Just ask for the email or create more. Okay. Then we have the landing page options, change logo, the banner image, primary colors, social links, the participants sharing and tracking all from here. And then go ahead and publish the event and you have an event created really easily, right? So that's for these three, which are the main tools, but it doesn't stop there. They can do sessions can do a whole lot more, right? So you got your memory to view what's going on in the past. You got your calendar. If you connect your calendar, you have all the events right here, which you can check out, jump into them, go to the event, etc. all from here. So it's pretty easy to keep track with this calendar. Or what if you need to create a booking link where someone just jump into the link and book? Well, this is my link. Let me go ahead and copy this. Go to incognito mode and I'm going to show you how someone is going to view this. So first of all, I have a 15 minute session rule right here and I'm going to select the 18th and I'm going to schedule this hour and I'm going to confirm add my details there and I'm good to book, right? Tell me that's not easy, right? Or how about if you want to create a new booking page? Well, you have all these options available. You have your session durations from 15 to 60 minutes or custom email reminders. You want to set a reminder and the schedule, the agenda, the form, advanced participants, permissions, widgets, automations, recordings, and exit all from here. All right. And the events, the ones that you create, we're going to be able to view them right here in case you need to modify them, add new speakers, etc. all from here. The rooms, this is a really cool tool. I don't see this in other type of uh, video meeting systems. So in this case, a room is a room that is always there so you can jump inside and start a meeting. So let's go ahead and enter this room. That room's already created. The link, everyone has it. So they know how easy it is to jump to this room. You don't need to create a new event or a new meeting because it's maybe it's your team members. Hey, let's jump over to the room. They have the link already. They're going to jump there and they're ready to go to start that meeting. Okay. So it's pretty cool that you have this option. If you need to create a new room, do so from here. If you need to delete it, do it from over there. Then you have your agendas from here. My agendas, the workspace agendas and the shared with me. The files. This is really useful to upload the files that you're going to use in your sessions because it makes things easier and smoother. You got documents, image, keynotes, PDFs, pages, etc. And then you have your tools, which you can connect with all of these right here, which are pretty useful for your video meetings, which is pretty cool. They have all that there. So all that with sessions. Tell me that's not incredible. And like I said, you're able to replace all of these using sessions, which I think is a really neat idea because you are avoiding to use several tools to accomplish the same purpose. If I want to use a booking meeting, use sessions. If I want to run a video meeting. Well, use sessions. If you want to run a calendar, do it from there, etc. So I think it's a really great tool to use for your business. So if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description and that's a wrap.